Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying two teas. These were sent to us from Daniel, so thank you very much, Daniel. These are both celestial seasonings. Mine is an energy energy tea, it is green tea. Mine's a probiotic tea, and it is a uh, black tea. So, um, how did you make these? Just hot water from the cured. Okay. Cured is, it's, it's boring, and you put so. the you put the, the tea bag in there, first, put, put the hot water on top of it. Okay. Four ounces for these cups. And then we have let it steep, so it's Yeah, been for probably three or five minutes. Probably about five minutes, yeah. honestly. Um, so... And one, one sweetener packet. Yes, we did put one sweetener packet in each because... that's what we, how we would drink it. We exactly. We would drink it raw. Um, as much caffeine as a cup of coffee. It has 95 milligrams of caffeine. There are four tea bags in this small package. Yeah. And it didn't say how many ounces of water to put in there, so... Yeah, I just went by what cup we had. Yeah, exactly. It depends on what kind of cup you have. It says, warning, this product is not intended or recommended for children and those sensitive to caffeine, pregnant or nursing women, those with a medical condition, and those taking medications should consult a healthcare professional before use. Um, it has green tea, natural peach flavor with mm. other natural flavors, matcha and green tea extract these are made in boulder colorado and we made both of these hot however you can uh make it iced by the glass and so you can have it as an iced tea if you prefer uh, we just wanted to have it hot so here we go green tea energy tea you can put it down on these little handles are hard for me to hold you have to hold your pinky out. I, I can't do it with my pinky out. Um, they said it was made with peach. Yeah. That's what you taste. That's what you taste. It's peach. If they, even if they hadn't have said that, I would have picked up on that oh, immediately. Yeah. Um, it's not bad if no. you like peach. I don't think it's bad at all. I it's like it better light. than um, than most of the matcha flavor or the green tea flavors. Yes, <laughs> it because, covers it up. Yes, most of those taste very green, green and earthy, and grassy. grassy. Yes, and this actually tastes like peach. Yep. So that's one that, yep, that we can actually enjoy. Now this one, let's see. Black tea. This is the probiotic tea, English breakfast black tea. Contains caffeine, once again. Um, but it does not have all those warnings on the back. So like this one had a clear warning that, that I read to you. Well, this says it contains caffeine, oh, no. but it must not be as much. As much. Um, it just says contains caffeine. It does not tell you how much the, uh, black tea, uh, three tea bags per day provide 500 million CFU probiotics at time of manufacture. I don't know what that means. Uh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> if you're keeping track of your probiotics, then you would know that. This one smelled like regular tea to me. It, yes. It, it tastes like your traditional uh, dark tea, English though. breakfast. Yes, it's a little darker, but it tastes very traditional uh, uh, breakfast uh, blend. Mm -hmm. um, a breakfast tea. I would put more sugar in that though. Probably, yeah. Like like when we make iced tea, which is what we make here um, in the South, uh, the, uh, you usually put sugar and stuff like that. That is what I would consider non-sugared iced tea. If, yes. it, if you were to cool it off, it yes. doesn't have enough sweetener in it. Yeah, so even though we did put a sweetener packet in it, it could use another one. It could. Yeah, so but I would drink that one all the time. Yeah, yeah, the peach flavor is not something I'd want all the time. Yeah, Pete, you have to be in the mood for that. It's not bad at all, I, and I agree with Kevin. I really like how they covered up the the tr the flavor of that green um, with the peach, but I like the English breakfast yeah. a lot more. Yeah, I yeah I that's agree. your everyday tea that uh, that everybody's gonna like. So thank you very much to Daniel for sending us these. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. If you've had any of these celestial seasonings, I think they make- they tons of stuff. Yes, yeah. flavors, yes, because I've seen those boxes mm -hmm. and they have every flavor in the world of those. Um, so you can let us know which one is your favorite and thanks for watching.